Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. It's the first day of summer, 2016. It's a night, it's a beautiful morning here in uh, Missouri. Just got done doing my workout. I was listening to a podcast this morning. I'm trying to fuel my mind with some positivity. I got a, I got a big week this week. I got finals this week. I've got a big seminar I have to go to. I got a big paper that's due. And uh, I'm just trying to start my mo- the week off right with a good workout and uh, listening to some uh, uh, The Charged Life by uh, Brendan Bouchard. It was an excellent podcast. I actually had to take some notes while I was working out. Because uh, he was talking about the uh, the cost to change in your life. There's a price of admission when you want to achieve change in your life. And uh, I thought that this was something, uh, it stood out to me because I know that I've faced these three things. And uh, I know that you have as well. So I figure I would just recap it in a quick video and uh, share what I learned. So when you want to change something in your life, whether it be a career, a job opportunity, maybe it's, you want a lifestyle change like a new workout program or you want to try something new like CrossFit or something. Uh, maybe it's a new relationship. There is a price of admission uh, to achieve this change. And these three things, uh, if you're unwilling to accept these things, you're probably not going to be very successful um, with it, accomplishing the change that you're trying to seek. So the first one's uncertainty. People like to be um, content. They, they are uh, afraid of change. So when you start something new, there's going to be a level of uncertainty that comes with that. So you start a new job. Are you going to fit in? Are you going to... Uh, be successful in this. Uh, is there, uh, you know, when you when you're content with one area and you're you're wading into something new, there's a lot of unknowns and uncertainty, and people tend to stay away from that because they're content. People don't like change. That's just the human nature. You don't know if it's going to be better for you or if it's going to be worse for you by by doing this. Uh, but you're not going to know unless you try. So that's uh, that's the first cost of admission. If you're going to change something, you have to be prepared to. Uh, that there's going to be uncertainty and you're going to have to be willing to try this in order to be successful. The second thing, and this is probably the biggest one for me, is the judgment of others. Uh, people fear rejection and they'll, they'll keep from doing something new because they're worried about what other people think. People cage people into their perception of them. Uh, and that's based off of people's past uh, opinions of you and your past uh, history of things that you've done. People like to just kind of block you into this little thing. And if you step outside of that and that's something new and different, they could make fun of you. They could be asking you why you're going to do this. And um, a lot of people are worried about uh, the perceptions of others. And then you've got to realize that there's just jerks and just people that are just having a bad day that are going to say an offhanded remark. Uh, jerks are just going to say whatever it is that they, they want to say anyway. So don't let the opinion of somebody uh, sway you from doing something. Uh, your spouse or significant other may ask you why it is that you're wanting to do. But, uh, you know, if, if you explain your reason and your purpose of, of why it is that you're wanting to change, um, that uh, that should help. And just know that people, you can't please everybody. Um, it's impossible. So do what your heart um, is telling you to do and, and go with that. And don't let the opinions of others um, keep you from, from achieving something that you want to do. And then finally... Uh, with change comes struggle and hardship because uh, people fear, like, you may not want to go to a CrossFit gym because you see people working out. It's very intimidating, and uh, you're going you're gonna to feel silly doing it, you know. Uh, and what you typically find out is that when you try something new, like, for example, when I started uh, paddling, I've always wanted to do the MR340, so I set about a few years ago. I hopped into a race. I just got a boat. didn't know anything. Uh, I didn't have any idea what it is I was doing. I just showed up with my boat. And I felt completely outclassed as soon as I got there. It's a very tight-knit community. Everybody was talking to each other. And they're looking at me like, oh, here's the new guy. And uh, I had a rookie-looking boat. I uh, didn't have a rudder on it. And uh, But the cool thing was I was nervous when I first pulled up there. And I got a bunch of weird looks initially. But once I started talking to people, um, I made some friends there. They kind of helped guide me in my next races. I'm going to wasp or something flying around here. Uh, they guided me, and I made new friends. I learned things, and I was ultimately able to complete the MR340, um, you know, later on. But yes, initially I was very nervous because I was in, in a new circle of, of people, and I, they were they were looking at me kind of crazy. Um, and it was it was hard. It was a learning curve. I had to sacrifice, you know. So when you start something new, just know that you're going to have to sacrifice something. You're going to look silly doing it, um, but it's through that hardship and through that uh, that that sense of, of, of achievement and accomplishment that's truly where you grow um, and that's truly where you live life is when you when you achieve something that's that's a struggle um, that's very challenging and difficult that's truly where you feel alive so um, 
those are the uh, those are the three things. Those are the three uh, cost of admission to seeking change. So just to recap, it's uncertainty, the judgment of others, and then struggle and hardship. So if you know that these three things are going to happen when you start your change, you're going to be better off. So hopefully that helps you out. Hope you guys have an epic week, and uh, we'll talk to you later.